Hi YouTube, this is Trish Pickard. I'm coming at you with a dessert video. It's going to be frozen yogurt pie with whipped topping. And I'm making it the peach version. Um, I get two things of peaches and I add fresh peaches to mine. And then I get a graham cracker crust. So we'll put the graham cracker crust on the side. You can use a hand mixer or just a wire whisk. I prefer a wire whisk. It gives me a little bit more control of the mixing. So that's how I do it. And then we'll come back for the taste test when it's all said and done. Cause you know, it's gonna take some time to set up in the refrigerator and everything, you know, how that goes. Everything has to have its time to take a little nap. Everything does, you know what I mean? Like, okay, so let's get this. I like to get all the nooks and crannies of whipped cream and goodness out of here but yeah the reason that I like to use a wire whisk or a whisk better it doesn't have to be wire it could be plastic it doesn't matter um, it's what you prefer um, a lot of people save their containers I don't I have enough of them so we're gonna throw that away and then Mm. Peach is my favorite. I like strawberries too, but I um prefer the peach. Sometimes I think that strawberry is overdone, you know what I mean? Strawberry cake, strawberry pie, everything. Overdone. Nothing like a peach pie or a peach mousse or... Because it's literally... I look at it this way. This is a lazy mousse is what it's actually going to be making out of it. Um, so, and then what I do is I drain off some of this juice off the peaches because I don't like the peach juice in it. I think it makes it a little bit too runny for me. But that's just my opinion. You know what I mean? Like you do what you feel is comfortable. If you want the extra juice in there, add it. I'm just showing you the basics on it. So we're going to put this on the side. What do I do with my... Oh, there it is. My... Napkin. And then I just mix her all up. And you just keep mixing and mixing and mixing. The only difference between a wire whisk and an electric mixer is an electric mixer will give you like a little bit more lift with the whipped cream it's almost like heavy whipping cream because that's what whipped cream is is heavy whipping cream this is just the 
what they call poor man's way of doing it or like the easy way to do it. Um, actually, I think I am going to, I, I am going to do what I said I was going to do. I thought I wasn't going to have to add it, but I think I am because I didn't put enough. Usually you can do it with just the one peaches, but this one's being a little fickle with me. So we're going to drain off some more peaches and add them. Which is not a problem for me. Um, but you can make these like with raspberries, blueberries, strawberries, blackberries. Um, you can even make it like a creamsicle and add um, like a cream caramel syrup or something like that on top to make it look all pretty. It's what you want to do with it. Um, now let's get this graham cracker crust opened up here so we can get her popped in the freezer because we got to put her in the freezer for about two hours. I should have taken this lid off before we got to yickety yakit and but yeah. anyway, um, like I was saying, um, I've never done it with any melons like watermelon, cantaloupe. Honeydew melon. I've never tried any of those. I don't know how they would come out. Because they're, you know, really, really high in water. And I don't know how well this does with water. You know what I mean? So, let's move this over. So you can see all this wonderful goodness going in here. And see how the... Pie shell fills up real nice and beautiful. And it looks like a little, let me move that out of the way. And then what you do, if you want to make it look all pretty while you're storing it, which I do this all the time anyway, is you put the lid back on it so it doesn't get smashed up in the freezer you know what i mean so we'll let her sit in the freezer for about two hours and we'll be back for a taste test um but that's all there is to it about making it but like i said you can make it with a hand mixer and all it will do to your um whipped cream is just froth it up some more otherwise it comes out like this if you just use a wire or a plastic well um whisk so it's whatever you prefer so we'll be back in two hours for a taste test take a slice of her and you can see what she looks like when she comes out because it's almost like ice cream because some people can't eat it, and so that they have um, non milk versions of this whipped cream. So, if you can't have milk or whatever, they have coconut. Or if you want to do it with Greek yogurt, you can also do that. So, it's however you want to do it. So, we'll be back in two hours to... Um, have a taste test. Hey YouTube, I'm back with the frozen yogurt pie. I got lost in the sauce and it should have already been only two hours, but I just went ahead and let it sit in the refrigerator overnight. So I got the good knife out to cut it. But I was thinking about it while we had this in the refrigerator, the frost in, or in the freezer. Um, if you wanted to make the holiday one for a holiday like Thanksgiving or Christmas, you could make it vanilla, like use vanilla yogurt and 
vanilla. Of course, the um, whip topping is already vanilla anyway. So what you do is you just get vanilla yogurt and then you add chocolate chips and crush up some peppermint. Oh, this is going to be a little bit more difficult than I thought it was going to be. The longer you leave it in the freezer, the longer, the harder it's going to be to cut your slice out. Um, but yeah, you can make it any flavor you want. But, um, uh, I would definitely, you know, like I said, the longer you leave it in the freezer, it's going to do this. Let me wet this knife a little bit. It'll slide right through that way. Just like if you do it with, um, just like when you serve up, uh, ice cream, the hotter you make the, because we have one of those spoons that if you heat it up, it will just sink right through it, just like this one's now starting to do. And I didn't even run my hot water that long. course taking a bite out of this might be a little bit of a stretch but like I said minimum two hours maximum overnight but this is what happens when you do overnight and it's a lot more difficult to eat okay so we'll put the lid back on that. And I'll cut a little piece off of it. Mm. Okay. So we can have a little taste test. Um, I know it's gonna be good, but just flip her around. Okay, here we go. So, I'm just going to pick it up with it and eat it with my hands because it's just me. Like, everybody is a little bit differently. Um, this is a requested recipe from my daughter. Um, even though she's a vegan, they have vegan yogurt and they have vegan whipped cream. So, this one's for you. Oh, I love that. Mm. And the reason I like it so much is I'll show you. See how it like floats the peaches through it. Um, that's why I say you can even use fruit cocktail. You can use any kind of fruit you want. You can use fresh fruit or canned fruit. It just depends on what you want. But just know that if you're planning on one, doing one for the holiday, 
I would um, stick with the vanilla and do chocolate chips and um, mint, mint chips. They have mint chips. It looks really cute. And then, like, put some peppermint on top or whatever. Or you can even get graham crackers, you know, and smash up the graham crackers, put the graham crackers on top. They don't have to be all decorated, all cutesy woosy on the front and on top and everything. If you're just eat, making it and eating it for yourself, like, it doesn't matter what it looks like. It's what you prefer and what you like. Remember, if you have nothing nice to say to somebody or some me. Don't say anything at all. Ta-ta for now.